Hi everybody, Jillian here to share with you a brand new Bible journaling process video using the new Creative Retreat July Faith Art Box. I'm so excited to finally be able to use this box and, and share it with you guys. And I'm doing an entry here in Matthew chapter 7. The verse that I want to journal is actually on the right side, so I'm going to go ahead and put this entry over here on the left. You can see I have an entry on the right that's kind of talking about the same thing, so I'm just going to pull a different part of the verse out and journal that today using some of these beautiful stamps that came with the kit. So you saw me put down some white acrylic paint and I just went in there with my finger and got messy and um, to get the paint smeared on the page. I'm going to be using some Neocolor water soluble crayons. You can see them in the top right corner of the frame there. And I like to use those in my Bible with like a white base. Um, don't really like the way that the pigment looks when I just put it directly on the page. So I'm still experimenting with them. They're new to me and um, I've only, you know, been playing with them a handful of times. So you can see they're very much like a crayon. I just scribbled a bunch of color on the page over that white and I'm dipping a brush in some water and then just moving the color around and trying to get those hard lines up. Now I wanted to match kind of match the yellow and this like pinkish purple color in the kit and I like the way that the colors came out. I wish the yellow was a bit lighter, um, but like I said, I'm still figuring these out and how they work best. I'm going to go in a couple times here and uh, get the color the way that I want it. There's a little bit of a harsh line there where the yellow meets the pink towards the top, and I'm going to cover that up mostly with stamps, but you can see it at the end. So I'm taking the clear stamps here and just lining them up on the page to make sure the sentiment that I want is going to fit and kind of get an idea of the placement before I go ahead and stamp it down. So I am stamping out the sentiment, shine your light in the dark. So once those are where I want them, I'm going to go ahead and put the clear stamp on the acrylic block and then stamp it down on my black ink pad. Now lately I've had a lot of excess ink get on the edge of my acrylic block and it creates a line on the page when you um, like stamp down on it. So I'm just being careful to use a baby wipe here to remove any excess ink that's on the block so I don't have like weird stray black lines on my page. Because this is such a simple entry, I knew I couldn't afford to have that happen because there wasn't really a way that I was going to be able to go back and cover it up. So I'm just making sure the stamps are nice and straight and lined up here. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm using a, a baby wipe to clear, to clean the stamps off. I don't want to leave any ink on there. And you can see that I'm kind of like rubbing them on the back of my hand before I stamp them down. That's just because they're brand new stamps and the oils in your skin are oddly enough going to help the ink stick to the stamp a little bit better and you'll get a crisper impression than if you were to just take it from the package to the ink pad to your page. So I used this shine tab and I'm kind of folded, I folded it in half over the page and that's going to be my tab for the top and then I'm doubling it up with this really pretty black and white polka dot bow clip here. And I'm going to go in with the enamel dots, oh man I love these things, and put those around the page. I know that I can spend a good 15 minutes figuring out the placement of enamel dots. So my goal for this entry was to not do that. Now I originally wanted to do this entry in John 1, but I didn't, the stamps didn't really incorporate the right words to be able to do that. But I definitely wanted to talk about shining a light for Jesus, Jesus being the light, and something along those lines. So I ended up just paraphrasing Matthew 7, I'm sorry, Matthew 5, verse 16, where Jesus says, In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. And so I just wrote out the second half of that verse underneath the stamped portion here and drew some like journaling lines to help me figure out where to get that down. So you can see here, again, I'm fussing a little bit with the enamel hearts and picking them up and putting them back down. I wanted to add some like white splatters to this page because it's so vibrant and I tried to go the watercolor route, it wasn't getting the color I wanted so I'm going to end up using this white Heidi Swap Color Shine and just taking the nozzle and then dabbing it around the page to get some white glittery iridescent um, splatters on the page and I doubt you can see this on camera because I couldn't even see it as I was doing it. Um, you should be able to see it in the pictures coming up here in a minute. But that's pretty much it. Once I let those dry, page was done. 
Here's a finished look along with a couple of close-ups. Thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in picking up the July Faith Art Box, I've got it linked in the description below. See you next time!